Can you believe that? In our everyday lives, we're all victims to being soft. Let's just get that out of the way and admit it. We're soft. We struggle in our personal and professional lives because we lack the consistency and discipline to push through our fears and insecurities and never seem to be able to achieve any of our most important goals. Deep inside, we know that life, if it hasn't already, will present us with big challenges that we're not going to be ready for. We know that these moments will be scary and definitely push us out of our comfort zone. And I know what you're thinking. Whatever. I'll make sure I'm ready later. And we're going to make all kinds of excuses for why you can't or shouldn't take the challenge to improve yourself today and not tomorrow. How do I know? Because I'm the same way. In the book, they call this acrasia, which is the Greek for acting contrary to usual judgment and lacking self-discipline or command over oneself. In this video, I'm going to try to help understand the importance of self-discipline and provide you with the tools and knowledge I learned from Ryan Holiday's book. My goal is that by the end of this video, you're going to be better mentally prepared for everyday life challenges and ready to take on anything that comes your way. So let's go get it. But please do keep an open mind, because if we want visible results, we need to seriously want to change and commit to the journey of developing the most important skill in life, self-discipline. When we lack self-discipline, we most likely lack self-esteem. They both usually go head in hand, and you're probably very familiar with the psychological effects caused by them. Difficulty sleeping, feeling stuck, going through the same motions day after day without any improvement in our lives, giving in to all sorts of temptations, etc. Unless we make the conscious effort to abandon these behaviors, our lives are never going to change for the better. Now, luckily, nowadays we have many resources that can help us. The point is, if you're exhausted of your own bullshit and you truly want to change, you've got to hit the ground running because it's time. They say, feel the fear and do it anyway. We gotta be tough to grow out of this tiny shell that's keeping us small. Imagine doing what you fear most. Speaking in public, moving to a different country, with a language you can't really speak, asking that person out, quitting that job you hate, starting a YouTube channel. Feel the fear? Feel that battle within you? Where one part wants to make all the good choices and the other part just wants the easy way out? This is that moment where you just need to jump, even if you're not ready and figure things out as you go and as you move. And yes, move, because staying put exactly where you are, not ever changing anything, loving the predictability of things instead of looking for the discomfort, that's just gonna keep us stagnant and depressed. Get moving. In the end, all the effort and sacrifice have to be worth it. The only way to beat the odds is by pushing through, staying consistent and sticking to a plan. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. It only has to get us moving in the right direction. The goal is to go that distance and strengthen our self-esteem along the way. And I look in the mirror and feel proud of what we see. Once we decide to go the distance, we're ready to look back at all the lessons learned and realized how strong and consistent we've become. Jim Roth says, become a millionaire, not for the million dollars, but for what it will make of you to achieve it. And yes, it's about transformation. Through discipline, we become better people. Why? Because all the new good habits replace the old destructive ones. In any way, through our whole lives, we're going to be tested time and time again, over and over. There will be all kinds of small practice battles to win, so that when the true war is fought, we're ready to endure it. That means that we must stay forever vigilant of not going back to our old, destructed habits. It really is a marathon, but a mental one. Like Socrates said, strive to be better every day and never be satisfied with your current state. Learn any proof. So let's just reflect in conclusion. Before discipline, we were all squishy, sensitive, lonely and insecure. And we wondered if anyone cared. But now we don't give a f We've made progress and the transformation is visible. We're no longer soft. We're strong and resilient. The world around us sees it for sure. And even its struggle is never gonna go away things will gradually have to get more manageable because the lesson stayed with us. Now, share what you learned because many people out there are struggling like us and we need help. Take what you picked up and give that away. Pass it on and create positive karma for yourself.